day here on Snow Watch. But there's sun shining in my eyes, you say. Oh, there it's gone. Hi, welcome to our day. We are officially on Snow Watch today. Don't know if the kids are gonna be on a snow route for absolutely no reason, or if they're coming home on the bus, like regular. Or if this is all just a hoax. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm running a bunch of errands just in case. So let's start our potential snow day together. First stop is a donation drop off, non-clothing, some of my household decor items. My whole back, you can't even see it. My whole back seat is filled with stuff. Um, the stuff that is non-textile for Ashley's uh, clothing drive or anything drive, for her fundraiser for cheer. It has to be household items. I'm thinking like kitchen. And I have a lot of decorations and frames and boards and things like that. We only get five cents a pound for that kind of stuff. And I don't actually really want that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna donate it here. This is where it's coming anyway. So I'm just gonna get rid of it so that I can make more room in my garage for the other stuff people are gonna bring over. Next up is Target and it's currently not snowing at all, even though it kind of was fluttering when I was driving over to the donation place. Okay, my list is very basic. I'm not gonna be able to find the basil and the parsley here. I knew that, but I wanted it on a list so I didn't forget it later on. I'm trying to find the baking aisle. And I know I could have gotten the onion at the grocery store and the cheddar cheese, but I don't know when I'm gonna go and there's something I wanna make with that. Um, and something I'm gonna make with the basil and the parsley, but they're two separate things, and so I can make that one now, and then I'm making something with the parsley and the, and the basil with the feta, which I don't like feta, but I tried something with that in it, and it was really good, and it was high protein. But we just need to get some, not olive oil, I need just regular cooking oil. And then we're done. By no means am I doing like an emergency stock up type of target run. Oh, I actually got some hash browns for Ashley. Or not Ashley, Chelsea. Um, this is just what I had on my list today. And this is the first time I've had a chance to come to the store. So, it is what it is. Also because I hate going to the grocery store. So, and I love Target, so I make it work here. Okay, my next stop was to drop Abby off at the community college. And it's like, this is the first in-person class she's had. And it's just, I don't know if like I had it in my head because like, she's only done online before. Um, but seeing, like dropping her off at class with all these like college students around, I'm like, she's only 16. She's only 16. No one mess with her. <laughs> just like the protective mom and me like kind of kicked in just a little bit there. Um, but her car is still getting fixed. And so, um, and Kayleen, Needed the car this morning, needed her car this morning, even though she's still in bed. So we're just gonna let her have that. Abby could have been back before Kaylee woke up, but that's okay. So now I am going to wait for Abby's 50 minute class to end. That is her naked drink. And then I'll come back and get her. But there's really not anywhere to wait on campus. Um, and so I'm just gonna go get a drink and sit in a parking lot and uh, Oh, her drink just spilled. Her little naked drinks. One more week. Actually, not even that. Days. We have days of her being on soft liquid diets. But she's excited. So I'm just going to wait for her to do that. And then we're still penning snow. Like, I just called the school for Ashley and just said, okay, look. If we are on snow route, send her on the bus. Send her home. I'm not coming down there. But if you are not on snow route, if there's no snow, if you are just normal school day and nothing ends up happening, like there's no, there's, there's sunshine in our soul. There's, there's no snow. There's no rain. It can happen. I said, if there's no snow, I need to pick her up and I need to take her to her dance class. And she's like, oh, well, why wouldn't you just pick her up anyway? And I was like, because if there's snow, the dance class is canceled. And she's like, ah, oh, of course, because <laughs> everything cancels when there's snow in Seattle. So at the, from picking up Abby on, I'm in like limbo mode. Am I picking her up at school? Am I picking her up at a snow route? Am I gonna be able to get through a snow route? It's wonderful. You take me higher when we're together. It feels 
feels like you set my whole world on fire I know I want you I know I need you here I'm gonna pick up Ashley and it is actually starting to kind of snow I don't know it's not gonna stick unless it gets more but um, it kind of is doing a little something so obviously we did not get put onto a snow route yet oh it's actually starting to like it is building up on the ground. I'm, so, I'm kind of surprised. I saw little piles of white on the ground. Um, but we did not get any snow alert from the school. So we're on normal release, which hopefully means Ashley did not, in fact, get on the bus. She knows. She knows the drill here for her class. Um, so um, hopefully they have class. Otherwise, we're just going to turn around and go home. But I... Not, I don't feel sick. I'm just, let's just say my back hurts. It's just not feeling like I have the energy to go walking tonight. I'm just kind of feeling blah. Like if I weren't doing this, I would be either crawling onto the couch or getting into bed. That's kind of where I'm at. Like I'm tired, but I don't want to fall asleep, but I know I probably would take a nap. Um, but I don't really have the energy to go for a walk even just for like an hour so I'm just gonna wait for Ashley in the car because I just saw the line of traffic on the other side of town when I left home I'm not gonna go get stuck back in that but um, it means I'm, I have to get stuck over by Ashley <laughs> waiting for her to get done so um, anyway but we'll see while I wait for her to get done if it actually starts to snow and accumulate we might be going through driving home in an actual snowstorm. So <laughs> crazy. All right, the windshield wipers are kind of freaking out. Let's turn them off because it's really not that bad. Wipers, They're it's gonna sick. be okay. It's, <laughs> it's freaking out with the snow on the windshield, but it is actually snowing. I've got Ashley here in the car with me. We're trying to leave the school parking like, lot. Uh, you want to do what? If we if it starts snowing really bad, we won't be able to do a cheer call. Oh, it'll be gone by it'll be gone by Saturday. I guarantee you, it'll be gone by Saturday. Even if it snows all night tonight, which it's planning on it, we'll see. But it's taking longer to pick her up, and it's taking longer to leave the parking lot. And it doesn't look like the traffic is gonna help me at all that direction. It's also that everyone's picking up their kids because they're scared that they're gonna. Have to I know, I know, I know. That's why I've been here for over a half hour because I knew everyone else. I was like maybe 10th in line and it still has taken forever. So I'm glad I came early. Okay, dropped Ashley off a little bit ago. I'm actually getting like so snow accumulation on my window. Not having the wipers on. You can see there's a little bit on the mirror. I think you can see it out the window there. Kind of coming down sideways. Jason is actually probably going to close up the store. He's writing a sign right now because the snowstorm is coming from him up north and it's going to head southeast directly for our city and then out through the pass. <laughs> so he's gonna get on the road and make it home before it gets crazy. He's gonna have traffic, it's gonna be crazy, but I'd rather just get him home and then tomorrow is his day off. We'll have to just reevaluate how much snow they get, whether he's gonna have the employees open the store tomorrow or not. But. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if we actually get... I mean, I've been saying all day, like, I don't know. I don't know. You just don't know how long it's going to stick around if it does stick. All right, we are going home. I've got her. It has taken us, so far, 35 minutes to no, go home. Even. Well, like you that. left. Your class ended at 5.30. It's now 6.05. I took a chance, and I, I could see right away... That I, I, side note, it's not snowing anymore. Hasn't it been snowing. Be. Yeah, it will be soon, but it hasn't been snowing for the past hour and a half. But um, I could sense and see that oh. traffic was going to be really bad coming home. Yes, I just got her a kiss meal. She's literally like melted onto the. Um, I didn't get anything though. So uh, mm. anyway, I could, I could see that traffic was going to be really bad. I was it looking is. at my little map. Can't show you now because it's going to show you where I live nope. and all that kind of jazz. But um, anyway, and so I took a, a detour and I got onto a highway just to go a different way. 
Um, came back around, I was like, oh, this is great, super fast. This is gonna get us home. I'm gonna get her kids meal. We're gonna get home fast. We might even beat Jason home. He's already home. He was coming the exact opposite direction toward the same exit that we were getting off on. And then I, we, it was backed up for a quarter mile before the exit, before the actual exit lane. And I was like, oh no. And I knew where that lane was. Anyway, I just knew how bad the traffic was gonna be. And then people were cutting across like a quarter of a mile of backup. They were cutting in line. And I was like, this is ridiculous. This is gonna end in an accident and people mad and we're gonna sit here forever. And then you ended up. And then I just, I was like, no one is turning right. No one, everyone wanted to turn left. And I was like, no one's turning right. And I saw a car turn right and I was like, oh, I can go around town. So it was faster for me to go all the way around town. Mom. Are you looking at her messages? No. My messages. No, I'll talk. No, I already got them. Oh, you did? Yeah, I got them today. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I went all the way around, which usually takes longer. I went all the way around town, okay. came back up, got her um, some food super like fast. Her, but... Um and then again, I was gonna get stuck in the other side of town traffic. And I went, I was like, you know what, screw this. I, so I went through a different light and turned and did a UE and came back through. And I only had to wait for five cars versus 35 and about 20 different lights. And I was like, you know, I don't even feel bad. Like I'm not cutting in line. I'm not cutting anyone off. I'm just thinking different. <laughs> Just trying to, like, I'll show you the, now there, there's no street signs. I can show you how backed up the traffic is right here. Well, like, this is why I'm filming right now, because we're not going anywhere. And you film when you're driving, too. I do, too. I know, but I'm careful about it. But anyway, this is just going to be us for the next 10 minutes or so to try and get home. This car right here well, came somewhere with snow on it. Well, that's I, so Jason pulled <laughs> out when I got home, and I was like, oh. He doesn't have to work tomorrow, but he's letting me take the garage in case it snows. That's such a cordial thing to do for a husband to his wife. Yes. But what's the real reason why you have me park in the garage? To be cordial to you and let your car be in the garage. No. no. I want to go skiing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, both can be but you're Okay, so you need to clarify with everyone. Your foot is fine. Dude, all of a sudden it just got better. Mm -hmm. Someone must have been faking it. Take a day off work. <laughs> Here, can you take this? <sighs> but I'll have to tell you my miracle uh, roundabouts that I did to get home so fast. All right. You'll be very impressed with my uh, route. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Okay. Okay, it's been a couple hours. I've showered, talked to my sister on the phone, and we officially have snow finally. And this is what I was expecting if we did get it. It's freezing out here. Got you go don't go far. You can go not into the snow. Literally, it's just... Okay, no, if you look at the rooftops, they're all covered. But, that I mean, if it's cold, it's supposed to be freezing temps all night tonight. It's actually it's supposed to snow again. But, you know, that's the snow we got. I was hoping you could see the little mini winter wonderland we have out from above. So... We're supposed to actually get more snow overnight. It's 10 o'clock. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. All right, I'm gonna end our day, oh, look at that sunshine, with a quick glance of any extra snow we may or may not have gotten overnight for Snowpocalypse Seattle. Seattle Snowpocalypse. Seattle Snowpocalypse 2024. This, this is all we got. We didn't get any more. There's nothing on the, on the roads. <laughs> it's beautiful though, and it's like 20 degrees out there. And it's gonna be like 20, 30 degrees during the day, all like for a week, so that's fantastic. So anyway, that's all we got. All the hype, I don't do the hype. I just keep going with my day, but. <laughs> When we do get snow and it's really bad, it is really, really bad. But like, that's all we got. And it's probably worse higher up, um, which is why we're on two hour delay for kids at school and snow route. So I'm taking them to school. I am not gonna sit in my car at the, at the snow route stop and sit and wait and wonder when is the bus gonna come. So we're just gonna take them to school. So see you guys later. <laughs> I gotta start my day with the kids on 
snow route, late, late start. Um, I, unfortunately, I didn't wake up in time to like think about it enough to like, oh, should I go tell Chelsea not to get out of bed? No, I didn't. So she was already downstairs eating breakfast, ready to go to school at 7.30 this morning. And I was like, go back to bed. She's like, okay. <laughs> and then Ashley was awake. And then Abby was awake. Sorry about that, dead battery, signing up.